Imagine. A box. A box in which you put all your photos. For safekeeping, you give the box to a cloud storage service. But then, some nosy employees start peeking into the box. Meanwhile, the cloud service company is training an AI, and for training their algorithms, they need lots of data. Lots. So they cannot resist. And they open the box so that they can train their AI on all the photos inside the box. By now, the government also wants to join in on the snooping and demands and gets access to the box. Indeed, data is the new oil. All this makes many of us uncomfortable. We don't want people to peek into our photos. Even worse, AI models and algorithms, which we'll never forget, remembering our private memories forever. Is this the new, unavoidable reality? Luckily, there is a solution to this. End-to-end -end encryption. Encryption is a mathematical way of locking a box of data so that it cannot be opened without the key. These companies already use encryption when they're transferring your box of photos over the internet. But the key is with them, and so, they can, and they do, open the box whenever they wish. The difference between normal encryption and end-to-end -end encryption is that with end-to-end -end encryption, you lock the box. You lock the box, and the key is with you. This is what end-to-end -end means. The key is with you. This solves all the problems. The box is locked at your end. The locked box is given to the end-to-end -end encrypted service for storage. No one in the middle can peek. Nosy employees, overbearing governments, or greedy companies, none of them can see your data, even if they want. And when you want to see your photos again, maybe on a different device, you download the box again and open it on your end. Now that you know what end-to-end -end encryption is, you should ask yourself, will you be comfortable giving a box of your personal photos to strangers? Likely not, you'd want to lock your box first. Similarly, end-to-end -end encryption is a way of digitally locking your box of photos before storing them on the cloud. We can take back control of our privacy. The future is secure.